Hi everyone, welcome to Bumblebee Crafts. Um, hope you're all doing well. Thanks for tuning in for another video from me. Uh, it's Messy Monday today um, and I want to get a couple of little projects finished up. Um, I haven't done this technique on camera yet, but I have done it um, quite a few times in the past. And um, if I have any digitals that I misprint either like on paper or um, they're, the alignment's not right and they've got lines and stuff over them. I don't waste them at all. Um, it's like these sheets here. Um, they, I don't think the camera picks it up very well. Oh, if I do it like that, you can see it's got those horrible lines across it. Um, but I don't want to waste it. I printed it on card um, for a project I'd done um, in September. And, um, yeah, I printed it on um, quite a um, high-quality print as well, so it used a lot of ink. Um, so I don't want to waste them. So I'm going to enhance those backgrounds with some sprays. I've got some different sprays out here um, that are kind of autumnal colours. I've got my little um, acrylic um, watered down acrylic paint pot things there um, and I also thought some gold shimmer paint might be nice um, and basically what I do is like these I printed these um, these are from Tracy Fox um, autumnal fussy cuts and for some reason even though I asked it to print on card it printed it on paper and I don't know about you but I struggle to cut fussy cuts out of paper um, I much prefer to do them on um, card if I'm going to cut them by hand um, so I just thought well I'll make them into a page I mean you get that on the back of the page so that would now um, fold it up would make a lovely page in the journal and then where it's just got um, obviously um, with Tracy Fox she puts that bit along the bottom you could just have a little pocket across there um, but that would make some gorgeous pages um, or I could tear it off and use elements of it for um, collaging, making tags, ephemera so that's what I want to do today, some inky pages I've got my big splatter box here so when I pull it across under the camera um, I will need to put my ring light on um, as well for you to see um, I tend to do it in the big box um, so that I don't make a mess everywhere basically um, but with these I'm thinking I'm just going to splatter them rather than add the inks um, so the different inks I've got is my own homemade vintage photo it is nothing like the Distress Stain vintage photo I have um, at all it's not as strong because I just use some drops of um, the re in some water but I just find um, rather than spritzing all of this paper with water to damp it down by having a slight colour to it it does um, help um, when you're blending things um, I've got um, just the one oxide here I have been shaking it up um, this is crackling campfire um, so we're going to use that um, this is a recollection spray ink. Uh, I don't even know what colour or anything. I was gifted this, um, but it's as you can see, it's quite a nice um, bluey colour. Um, I've got my Delusions uh, Lemon Zest ink spray. We've got the Distress Stain um, bundled stay. Uh, sorry, bundled sage. <laughs> Can't speak this morning. Um, and then my dis the Distress Stain. I've got Prize Ribbon. Um, I'm not sure. We might use that one. We might not. Um, but they're my sprays. I don't have very many sprays. Um, but they, those colours together do work quite nicely. So we'll do these pages first, pop them to dry. I'll get my other splatter box and we'll do these ones. So if we move these to the side here, move them up and out the way. I've got my, I'm going to lay my inks to the side of me here because the box is a big box, you'll see in a mo. Okay, so let's put them my splatter box in let's switch the light on there we go as you can see I've done lots of things these are going to make some gorgeous um, drop sheets um, for different things so all I do is just lay lay those in like so um, and I start off with my homemade excuse me I've just moved my chair that's 
it because I stand up to do this. Um, I'm, I start with my homemade vintage photo and that kind of acts as wetting the paper down but gives it a bit of a hint of colour, especially seeing as they're white. So we're just spraying it all over. There we go. So um, I'm going to have a pop of yellow. Don't need to shake this one up because it's just an um, ink spray. Try and pump it very small and I can get little droplets out of it, which I think would be quite nice. Um, now I do, they say to wipe the nozzles, so we've done that one. Let's have a bit of the green. Oh, that's nice. Try and get to the edges as well so I can use the whole page. And it's just a case of spraying and having a bit of fun. Um, let's use the crackling campfire. Make sure I just shake it out of the way of the noise of the camera. Right, that looks to be all mixed up. Oh, I've shaken it. Oh, that's nice. A bit more. And a little drops. Oh, I'm going to control that. There we go. So that's that. Now, do we want to brave and put the spot of blue in there? Or do we leave it like that? Let's have a little nosy at what I did with the other ones. Where did I put them? Oh, there is a spot of blue in those ones. Look, as you can see. You can see how the oxide's dried. That's lovely. So yeah, we will. I'll just use um, a spot of this. Ooh, this is mucky. I obviously didn't clean it well last time. So I'm going to hold it up and just do a few little dots. I think that's fine. Give this another clean. I'm just going to clean in the lid as well because it's uh, all down inside the lid. There we go. So what I do is I leave it for, at that stage, let that dry. Um, I usually let these dry naturally because they're in quite a big box. Um, so we'll put this to the side and I'll grab my other splatter box. No, it's not a box for you, cat. I've got my cats in here and whenever there's a box, oh, I have to be quick, get it up off the floor and onto my shelf <laughs> before, uh, there we go. Okay, so I've got my uh, splatter one, which is a bit more angled now, so I can have that like so and we can be a bit more controlled. I can sit down for this. Let's put the inks back up here. And I know I want the gold one as well, so make sure we've got a good, good position for you to see. Okay, right, so this is what I want to work on. Is that enough? Yeah, that's perfect, that's in the middle. Okay, so to start with, I'm just going to use some brown, just plain and simple um, brown. Does it need a bit of a mix up? Oh, I didn't get a bottle of water, a jar of water. Just bear with me. Just need some water to rinse my brushes. Getting excited to do this this morning and that because we've got um, gas works going on this week. So I'm well, when this airs, it will be the week the gas works are going on. Um, I'm actually filming ahead, I'm filming um, the previous week so that I don't get too disturbed. Um, I had to shut all the windows up um, the other day um, because. Um, 
they the noise over the back because they're around the back of the estate at the moment and then next this week um, as this video airs they will be um, here doing our driveway oops that's fine a few bigger spots so I'm frantically trying to get ahead because the disturbance is going to be an absolute nightmare um, we're going to have to have half of our driveway dug up because we've got quite a long driveway um, yeah they're going to have to dig that up so that they can put the new gas pipes down and in up to the house oh and the noise and the drilling and stuff. I mean, we had this done a few years ago um, and I have to say they did put the driveway back um, because we've got a brick weave driveway. So they did put it all back and everything, which was OK, which was good. Um, but it's just such an upheaval um, and I get um, quite stressed out with things like that. I know it's got to happen, but yeah, it just. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, I am filming ahead. So we have some green because they're with the green and the leaves. So uh, yeah, I'm just enhancing these backgrounds just so that those lines look as if maybe you did it as part of the grunging up process. brush off. Now what colour do we want on there? I think we want some oranges or something like that don't we? We've got a yellow and it looks like I've got a yellow made up here. Yeah it's not been, uh... oh, it needs a good mix this one. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Um, as I said, I'm filming this ahead and I've still got some autumn makes um, to do throughout October. Um, but um, I also want to do um, start some Christmas stuff. So you will see some, well, first things first, I'm going to do an Organise With Me um, Christmas one. Um, I see Gail and um, Gail Augustinelli and Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventure do a little organisation one and it was I really enjoyed it I loved watching it so um, I'm thinking I might do the same because I've got to get my Christmas stuff out yeah this is looking lovely now I think that needs to just be put to the side for those little spots to dry before I then go in and add something else, some other colour. So if I can carefully pick it up, can you see that? All the splats on there. Lovely. Let's move this to the side. So um, we'll do, I've got two more of these to do, but we'll go with one of these next. Now let's uh, clean the brush. Now this one, I wonder if I've got any of this kind of colour left. It's, uh, there's a little bit, it's a bit... I have to say the um, paints that I used originally um, were some little um, acrylic paints that you get in a tube um, but the ones that I've been using are these cheap um, hobby craft paints um, this one's a shimmer one gold um, but the others are just uh, plain colors and they're cheap I think when I bought them they were only a pound they might be about one pound fifty with where everything all the prices keep hooking up on things um, but still they are so cheap to use um, and yeah they're great you don't need uh, expensive inks to uh, do things like this not unless you want specific colours like the distress colours okay I like that now I am going to go in Hello, sorry, I don't know why my phone cut out. 
um, I had no messages, nothing coming in, um, so I do apologise, I really do. It seems to be happening quite a bit, it's probably because it's an old phone, but it, it's still, the cost of phones these days are just so expensive. Um, anyway, I do apologise. Um, where we were up to, um, I put the base layer of the pale brown on, then I did the yellow, which unfortunately I did before, and the brown before I realised um, it had been done, but that's what we've got so far. So I'm going to put this one behind me to dry. And I'm going to go back to this, back to another one of this one. Um, we could do a bit more on here. Just clean my brush. So there's some blue in this. So I'm tempted to do a little bit of spots on that um, as some browns, some yellows, and then do some blue. There's a touch of blue in there. So let's see, let's hopefully... Yeah, it's still recording. Okay, that's nice. Run out the um, yellow. Clean my brush. Okay. Sorry, I've gone quiet there, hadn't I? <laughs> Focusing on uh, the uh, splattering. <laughs> uh, right, get that done. Now I'm going to bring in, I've got two blues made up if they're still okay to use. So we'll have a little look and see which one we want to use. Just cleaning my brush. So. Use this one, I think it needs a good mix up. It's not, um, yeah, not been used for a while, clearly. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. A few more drops around the edge. Yeah, that's nice. And then I think with the, I don't think I'm going to go with the dark one on there because then I want to put some gold shimmer over the top of that. So that's another one done. Okay, so we'll do another one of these. I might add some blue in on this one, I think. So I'm going to start off with this pale colour again. I liked that one as a base. So yeah, you could do this with anything. It doesn't have to be um, digitals that printed out wrong. Um, it could be um, book pages. I have done that on book pages before. Um, I've I've done it on coffee dye paper and everything. It's, yeah, it's such a fun technique. And, well, it's Messy Monday and I am getting messy. <laughs> so, it's fun. <laughs> okay. And I think I want a bit of yellow. I might put a bit of red in this one, actually, as well. If 
Oh, look at that. There's a spot that's of yellow that's landed right in the middle of the bird's eye. <laughs> there, I like that. Okay, I'm going to go with a bit of red this time and see. See how we're doing. Just check I'm still filming. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, look at this. It needs a good mix up. Oh, this looks, feels thicker. This is um, one of those uh, cheap hobby craft ones. They do mix up and splatter really nicely. Mmm, the red's nice on there. Might put some red on the other one as well. So, um, yeah, when I start my Christmas one um, stuff, I might revisit some of these um, Messy Monday techniques, but they will be with Christmas colours, um, sparkly things in mind as well. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm eager to um, start my Christmas stuff. I really am. Um, what other colour do I want? Do you know what? I don't think I actually want any other colour on there. I think time you then get the gold. I think that's going to be lovely. Okay. So we'll pop this one to the side as well. Dry. Right. I'm just going to check my splatter sheets. Yeah, I think they're dry enough, so just bear with me. I'm going to um, move my boxes out of the way, swap them over. There we go. Take that back down. So the, the spots have soaked in. The paper is still wet, um, but you can see... Um, how that's looking so what I want to do now is to add some dark brown spots of paint some of these just to add a layer on the top of those inks And when I'm in the box like this, I can do a bit more, just a bit splats like this, because it's protected on more sides. I think I want a bit more in that middle bit. Yeah. There we go. That's nice. Um, I think I'm going to have, do I want a bit of white just to give it a lighter, no I think I'm going to just mix up some um, gold paint, um, so all I do is, I've just got my pot here and I'm just going to put a bit of gold in there and then I'm just going to Pour in a bit of water, like so. I just need to clean my brush. Like that. And then I'm just going to mix it all together, give it a good mix. Look at that gold shimmer, it's lovely. Okay. So that starts split, splattering gold everywhere. And then 
when these are dry, when I do a, my next Messy Monday video, I will show you them completely dry. Um, I prefer to dry them um, naturally. There we go. Move that over to the side there. Um, right, okay, let me just see if I can look, look at all that. I'm just going to swap the boxes again. This was the first one that we did, so I'm now going to just splatter some gold onto here. I've got my little gold pot, I can sit down for this, it's a bit more controlled. Okay. Because I want lots of nice little bits in the background to make this page really sparkly and shimmery. And I'm getting it on me as well, which is good. <laughs> so I'll be sparkly and shimmery. <laughs> no, they uh, actually think these um, paints are in the kids section, so they're perfectly fine. You get yourself covered in it like I do. Right, I think I've put enough gold on there. I'm going to put the brush to there because we're going to be doing gold on all the other ones. Yeah, let's pop this over here. Then we did this one. Not quite dry, but that's fine. I can still go in with the gold all over it. And then these will either form um, a page in the journal um, or I'll cut them up. Um, these ones especially because they're on cards so they'll make great little tags, journaling cards, that kind of thing. I think that's got enough gold on that one. This was the one with the blue. Oh, that's looking nice. I like that with the blue. If you can hear that scraping noise, my cat has found my um, stash on the floor of um, brown card and I think I said the other day ghost when he jumped up on my table here he was sitting on my papers next to me he loves paper card texture no none of it is safe when he sees it he's like right I want to sit on that I want to scrap at it I want to play with it and lay all over it <laughs> bless him and he's found it that's on the floor because I was sorting a few bits out and never put it back up on the shelf and yeah he's sitting on it there we go, I think that's enough on that one. And then the last one we did was this one that we're going to um, give a little splatter to. Some little ones on him. I don't want a lot. I don't want any big drops around him. I don't mind around, but same with you. I want just little, little spots to give a shimmer. Okay, do we need some um Oh, that was a bit violent of me. I've got it all up my arm now. <laughs> 
Right, there we go. That was the last one that we did. So yeah, that's just a quick little Messy Monday video from me um, using my um, inky sprays that I've got, um, the different um, ones, and then using my splatters with acrylic paint. And it's a great way of um, enhancing a background that you're not a fan of or, you know, it went wrong or, or whatever, or just doing with book pages. As I said, it looks so lovely. But when um, next Monday, when I just before I start that, um, video I will show you what these are like once they've let I've let them dry naturally um, and then that way you can see um, the effect so yeah I hope you've liked this little video from me thanks very much for tuning in and I'll be back for more messy Mondays take care everyone bye